What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Nick from the Get This Nick channel and today is finally the day. If you guys have been following along, you know I've been talking about it for a while. We are finally putting window tints on the 2004 Lincoln Town Car. This thing is a complete fishbowl and every car I've ever owned before this, I always got window tint on it. So to have this thing like this with no tint, um, it feels like I'm naked almost. So the appointment is set for today at 12 o'clock. I actually gotta get moving here. So I kinda wanted to document in this video me going to get the car tinted. And I also wanted to put together like a five things you should know before you go and get your car's windows tinted, if that makes sense. Now this is just a heads up. This is not a how-to video. You are not going to be seeing me give a tutorial on how to tint windows in this video. This is simply like a list, a checklist to go over before you get your car's windows tinted and if you're curious about getting them done, what you need to know before you get it done. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So step number one is you got to have a car that you're going to get tinted. Car, SUV, truck, whatever it is. I'm going to tell you why it's important in a second. But let's go see what I'm getting tinted today. We got to go look at this Lincoln Town Car. Let's go. So boom, here we are. We're in the garage. The beautiful Lincoln Town Car behind me. And as you could see, she has absolutely zero tint on her. But to make it a little bit easier to see, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out into the sunlight here so you guys can really get a good look of what I'm talking about when I say, I feel naked in this thing. I mean, look at this. The back windows, the front. I mean, you could just see all the way through. I cannot wait to throw some tint on this thing. It's gonna completely change the look of the car. So make, make sure you guys watch to the end because I will be showing you guys the finished product at the end of the video. Okay, so now that you got the car, truck, SUV, whatever you got going on that you wanna get tinted and completely transform the look of, step number two is you need to decide what percentage of tint you wanna get on the car. Now, depending on what shop you call, the majority of shops are not gonna change the price of the tint based off of how dark it is or how light it is. It's usually just, if you're getting tint, it's one flat price depending on the vehicle. So I'm gonna kinda just throw this little generic chart up on the screen here that I got off of Google. Basically what you're looking at is a tint chart and the lower the number is, the darker it is, the tint. So 5% is gonna be super, super dark. 35% is kinda like the standard. That's usually what comes on stock vehicles from the dealership is 35%, which is like a nice little shade. And anything above 35% is probably a waste of time unless it's going on your windshield, which we are getting the windshield tinted of this car done. So find out what you like, what you think will look best on the car and uh, kind of get an idea, get a plan of how dark you wanna tint your windows. Now also keep in mind that depending on your state, where you live, there are tint laws for cars. So where I'm at in Illinois, I believe the tint law is 35% for cars. So you cannot do anything under 35%. So no 30, 25, 20, because that is darker than what the legal limit is. So uh, yeah. What we're getting today is gonna be darker than the legal limit. So it's not technically legal, but you know, it looks good, it looks cool. But it's not crazy dark. We're not getting 5%, so we should be all right. I'm gonna roll with it. I've had cars that I got in 5% window tint on and I drove around for years and I never got bothered about it. So, but just keep in mind, there are laws out there regarding window tint. So if that's something that concerns you and you wanna follow, make sure you Google it. What are the legal tint laws in my state for an SUV or for a car, whatever you wanna type in. So number two, you gotta know how dark you're going with this window tint. And number three brings me to this, the good old bank, because when getting window tint, you wanna make sure you, one, shop around for a few different places and look at the ratings, see how good they're rated. And then once you have those, you wanna go ahead and call up and get a quote. So let me take out this money real quick so we could have money to pay for these tents. So, wow, that truck is loud. So I had to stop and get me some Starbucks because I needed a coffee to keep going here. And just, I had a long night last night, all right? So boom, we got the coffee, we got the water. Thank you, Starbucks, for bringing me back to life this morning. 
Yep, still doing iced coffee in the winter time. Doesn't stop me. As my boy Damo says, I can hear the ice. I can hear the ice. Gotta have that V8 in the Lincoln to overtake semi trucks, you know? All right, but back to driving it like an old grandpa. All right, so you got your car. You got an idea of how dark you want to go on your tints. You shopped around, called up a few places near you. Got the best price with the best reviews. Now you got to move on to step number four, which is you got to make an appointment. Window tinting is not just something where you just pull your car into a tint shop and say, hey, this is what I want. I'll wait here. Let me know. You got to set up an appointment for these things because depending on the shop, they're busy. Some guys take longer than others to tint windows. You can't just pull in somewhere and say, tint my car. So whether it's online through their website or you call the place or whatever the case may be, make sure you make an appointment. That way they can get you in and hopefully get you out as quick as possible. So we are on the way right now to my tent appointment and I'm playing around at the bank and at Starbucks, probably gonna cause myself to be late, but hopefully not. So let's get to this tent shop. What the hell? Bobo, what are you doing on there? So guys, check this out. This is actually in their little waiting room. This is the ceiling of the waiting room. Uh, this is also at my particular tent shop that I'm at now, a service that they offer. They put this in the roofs of cars to kind of mimic how Rolls Royce does it, you know, with the stars and the headliner. The gentleman that I spoke with said it costs about $1,600, but I'll throw some pictures up right now of what it looks like from their Instagram when they put it in cars, it is absolutely insane. You can control it off of a remote or off of your phone. Pretty crazy stuff. Pretty cool though. Now, because the shop I went to is further away from my house, I'm actually gonna be sitting here and waiting. Usually, you know, you drop your car off, you come back when it's ready, but I'm off today. I need to get this done. So I don't mind waiting, hanging out here for a bit. So I'm gonna let these guys work. Hopefully they get me out of here in like an hour and a half, most. An hour would be cool, but at the same time, I want them to take their time and do it right. So you guys saw what the car looked like. It's all good to go. So step five is gonna be get it done. Now I had to mute this part of the video due to them playing some background music in the shop while they work. So I don't wanna get hit with copyright, but this was just kind of documenting what they were doing and checking it out. You see the back window there from the inside, making my way around the car, they getting the windshield done, the front windows, and they had actually made some pretty good progress so far, but it is a tedious work, so they got to take their time with this stuff. All right, so here she is finally outside, so you guys can see that's 50% right there on the windshield. So 50% on the windshield and then moving to the rest of the windows, this is 20%. So I know on camera, it probably seems a lot darker, um, but it also is very gloomy outside. The sun isn't out. So that does play a role in it too. But overall, I am super happy with the way it looks. I feel like it completely changed the look of the car. It just looks really sharp. You could still see in there a little bit, but definitely darker than 35% would be. Yeah, it just looks really, really nice. And obviously those little blemishes and stuff you're seeing is the tint has to fully adhere to the window. So the tint has to like fully cure and settle on the windows. So you cannot roll the windows down. They say for three to five days while it dries. So you got to remember not to roll the windows down. Otherwise you're going to be ripping this tint off. But I'm super happy about it. I think it looks great. 
at the end of the day i guess that's all that matters but like i say the tint the good thing about window tint is that if you get tint on here and let's say a year from now i decide you know what i want to change the look up i don't want tint on the car anymore i'm going to take it off it's really easy to remove it's just a film you cut it a little bit to get it started you peel away and boom it's done so it's nothing to freak out about or think that it's permanent like I always say, if I went to go sell this car in the future and the next owner said, I don't want window tint on the car, I think it's too dark, I don't like the way it looks or whatever the case may be, they could easily remove it and it's not a big deal. So I'm super happy with the way it looks. I've been talking about doing this for a while since I've had this car since September. I've been doing videos for you guys on it and, and documenting everything I'm doing with it and I've been talking about doing it since then. So I'm glad the day has finally come. I finally got it done. And if you guys enjoyed this content or you, you like car content or comedy or whatever you like, I do a little bit of everything on this channel. So for those of you that are new here, and this may be the first video you're watching of your boy Get This Nicks, feel free to subscribe, drop a little thumbs up, a comment, whatever you want. If you wanna see more videos of this car, this Lincoln Town car, I have plenty on my page. So go binge watch those if you wanna do that. And uh, yeah, another thing off the list for the Lincoln Town car. So. We're going to go ahead and keep it moving. As always, thank you for dropping by the channel. Thank you for all the support, guys. And uh, we will see you guys on the next video. Peace. <laughs>